talking about how you can get on my nerves in less than 24 hours okay if you do any one of these five things then you would have accomplished that goal all right but before we get into this video you guys are going to do the usual like comment subscribe share with your homies your homegirls your grandpa your grandma you know anybody anybody that's living breathing and enjoying life you feel me but what I wanted to say was you're going to go to the description box down below and click on the two links that will be there and you're going to use my discount codes. One for Teen Hearts Clothing, which will give you 10% off your total purchase. Which will give you 10% off your total purchase. And California Apparel, which will give you 20% off your total purchase. And make sure you go and shop and use my codes because... When you guys get a discount, I make sh money. So it's a win-win for everybody, you feel me? I give you all the codes you need to get your back-to-school fit on. And in return, I get paid. So if you guys would do that for me, I would appreciate it. But without further ado, let's get right into the video. Alright, so my number one pet peeve ever, like... I've hated this thing since elementary school is if I'm talking to you and I'm telling you something and when I'm done speaking to you the first thing that comes out of your mouth is and so like I hate when people say and or so after I'm done speaking to them because what that tells me is that what I'm saying is not a, important enough for you to listen to and respond to basically you're telling me what you're saying is is like what's the point of you telling me this like I really don't care what you're talking about and I hate when people I hate when people say that to me because it's annoying like I thought it was important enough to let you know so you standing there and saying and and so it will irritate the mess out of me and I've hated that thing ever since elementary school so don't even try me with that nonsense all right all right glad we're on the same page all right I hope this lighting is good because I've done this video a couple of times and the lighting just doesn't want to be my friend today. But anyway, number two, I hate when people make other people's issues their problems and then not only do they do that, they like to speak on things that they weren't present for. First and foremost, if you were not there, then shut up. Point blank period. I don't care what you're talking about. Because at that point, you're just talking to talk. That's BS. You got one side of the story. Nobody cares what you're talking about because it's irrelevant. You're trying to be relevant, but you're not, sweetie. So just stay in the corner. Eat your little popcorn. Put it on Snap. Do whatever you got to do. Just don't open your mouth. Don't open your mouth, okay? I hate when people do that. And making other people's problems your own. Like, if I'm having a conversation between... Person A and person B. Then why the heck is person C jumping in there with their sidekick person D? What? Why? This ain't no reality TV show. We ain't tag teaming people to join the conversation. Shoot, if I wanted to have more than one person in the conversation, I would have made a group chat. Like, come on. No. No, 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 no. Okay? I hate when people do that. Another thing that I hate that people do, it could be any freaking body, is if you tell me to do something I was already going to do. If I was already going to do it, like, I, if I, in my head, if I was already going to, like, wash the dishes, then I don't, I don't want you to tell me to go wash the dishes. I was already going to do it. I'm going to do it when I wanted to do it. I'm going to do it when I want to do it, and I don't need you to tell me. If you tell me to do it when I was already going to do it, then guess what? It's not going to happen, okay? It's not going to happen, all right? It's going to happen on my time. My time. So don't tell me to do something that I was already going to do. 
Now, if I say I'm going to do it, like, I actually let you know I'm going to do it, and then you have the audacity to ask me again if I'm going to do it, that's going to irritate me, and guess what? It won't happen at all. So, sucks to suck. So now to number three. I hate when people accuse me of things. If my name is going to be in your mouth, let's make sure you got facts, okay? Make sure you have facts. If you do not have all the facts, or if you do not have facts, or if your facts are made up, then shut the heck up. All right? All right. What you're going to do is sit down in the little corner and keep it moving. Keep it moving. All right? I hate when people accuse me of things that I didn't even do. Because this, this is a real issue. This is why people go to court and they get sentenced to like 30 years in prison for a crime that they didn't commit and then somewhere down the line they'll be like oh sorry bro we for we found the guy who who robbed the bank or whatever and guess what happened your life is lost time has gone and it's not coming back for you it is not coming back for you at all okay and they're not gonna apologize for any of that so do everybody a favor and if you don't know anything, don't say anything. Okay? And that's how we get to world peace. Alright. I know. That one, that one really hit home. That one really hit home. Alright. Anyways, I think that was three. So number four was, um, I hate when people ask me stupid questions. Don't ask me stupid questions. Do not ask me stupid questions like this is number two on my list after the and and so thing this is number two i hate when people ask me dumb questions and then they want to get mad at me when i ignore them or i yell at them and say what and they want to get mad at me for catching an attitude that's because you asked me a dumb question that you already knew the answer to and especially when you're asking me a question that's very obvious what the answer is why are you wasting your time you want me to use my breath my oxygen to respond to you. <laughs> Joke's on you, I'm not gonna respond to you. You can ask me some dumb question in the hallway and guess what, I'ma see, I'ma walk through you like you're Casper the ghost. I didn't hear anything, all right? That irritates me the most, that's a, that's a close second, bro. Like that and 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 so are like tied for first. They have to be because I hate when people ask me dumb questions. I hate when people freaking ask me dumb questions, all right? And then the last one was, I'm pretty sure that was all of them. Asking me stupid questions, don't do that. Saying and and so, definitely don't do that. Making other people's issues your problems and speaking on things that you don't know. And then, um, telling me to do something when I was already going to do it. And... It's really but make sure to like comment subscribe really make sure you subscribe guys and leave a comment down below share with your homies your homegirls all your good peoples all that good stuff and um i'll catch y'all in my next video